Hey watch lovers, Brad and Brent L. Miller. Today I have for you the Grand Seiko SBGK007. Admittedly, this is one I've been waiting to get my hands on. Uh, we have a all gold one, uh, the other gold model in our used estate case. And uh, I, I just, I've been wanting to see how this white dial looks and man, is it hard to pick up and capture it um, in the room I'm in here on my iPhone camera. But try to do my best to, to let you guys see how this thing captures the light. It's, it's really, really nicely done and executed well. Uh, I did measure the case at 39 millimeters. I measured it at 12 millimeters thick, although I gotta say it does not feel like it's 12 millimeters thick on the wrist. Um, lug tip to lug tip, uh, 43.5 millimeters. We have a 19 millimeter lug width uh, is what I measured uh, in between the lugs. And this is using the Grand Seiko 9S63 manual wind movement. Get the light to reflect. I do have a sticker on the back of this still new inventory. Uh, this is uh, the power reserve. I believe uh, is right around 72 hours on this uh, on this movement. And it is finished on a black crocodile leather crocodile leather strap. Uh, I have not seen one of these on the metal brace on the steel bracelet yet. Uh, I, I would like to see how one of those looks on wears on the steel bracelet, but uh, nonetheless, this is still just an absolutely gorgeous watch. Uh, again, Grand Seiko finishing is spectacular. Um, I like the functionality in the small seconds and the power reserve indicator here. And you have a dual curved sapphire crystal, um, AR coating on the in the, on the underside of the crystal. And this watch is listed as splash resistant. So this is not going to be uh, wearing, to, you know, going into the pool or ocean with you for sure. But something that's gorgeous, I don't know why you'd be wearing it there anyway, right? If you want to see how this looks on my six and three quarter inch wrist, there is a link in the description to our Instagram page where you can see uh, how, uh, how they all these watches wear on my, uh, my wrist. Uh, and if there's anything I can do for you guys, please feel free to email me. Uh, my email is brad at brentlmiller.com. I will catch you guys in the next video.